Okay, so today we are going to look at addressing modes of 8085 microprocessor. What does addressing mode signify? They tell you that where is the data, where is the location of the data. Okay, so in generally speaking, addressing modes are going to answer one simple question. Where is the data? Right, so there are five addressing modes. We are having uh, several instructions in each addressing mode. We are going to look uh, all the instructions when we look at instruction set. Right now, we are just going to focus on different addressing mode. So, first addressing mode is going to be immediate, immediate addressing. What happens in immediate addressing is just after the opcode is located, just after the memory location of the opcode, next memory location data is going to be stored. For example, suppose we've got an instruction MVIA 23H. So what happens in immediate addressing is, uh, so uh, we already know that all the opcodes, all the instructions are going to be saved in the memory. So see, this is a two byte instruction. This constitutes of one byte and this data is one byte. So what happens is, suppose at memory location 2070, this MVIA was stored, MVIA. In the next immediate location, next memory location that is 2071 only, this 23 is going to be stored. So what, what do we get is, the data is stored in immediate memory location. That is why this is known as immediate addressing mode. Fine, when, when you decode this opcode, when you execute, when you're trying to decode this uh, opcode MVIA, the microprocessor knows that some data has to be loaded into the accumulator, some data has to be uh, loaded in the register A. Then the microprocessor is going to make this question, where is the data? So in immediate addressing, the data is going to be located in the immediate immediate memory location, immediate next location, which is 2071. So here is the data. Now, next addressing mode is, see there are a number of instruction in each addressing mode. We are going to look at them separately. Right now, we're just discussing different types of addressing mode. Next addressing mode is going to be direct addressing direct addressing what happens in direct addressing is see here the data was located in immediate next memory location what happens in direct addressing is you are giving the, the memory location of the data address of the data directly in the instruction for example example you are giving an instruction LDA 3070H so what have you given now we have given the memory address address of the data this is the this is the address of the data so in this addressing mode we give the address of the data directly what happens now whenever lda is decoded whenever you're going to give this opcode lda we know that accumulator has to be loaded but with what data where is the data this is the address of the data so what happens we'll we'll go to this address in the memory ex, ex, extract the data and load the accumulator suppose at 3070 3070 1a was stored this was the data so after execution of this instruction after uh, reaching this memory location we're going to extract this data 1a and accumulator is going to be loaded with data 1a so in direct addressing mode we are giving the address of the data directly then next addressing mode is going to be indirect addressing mode next mode is going to be indirect addressing What happens in indirect addressing is here also we are not giving the, the data is not located in the immediate location, we are not giving the data address directly, we are not giving the memory location of the data directly. From some place the memory location has to be identified. For example, suppose, suppose you write this instruction MOV A comma M which means that load A with the data located in memory. Now where do you get this memory location from? This memory location is indicated by HL pair. HL pair. Suppose HL pair constituted a value 
4050. This means that whatever value HL pair points to, this is the required memory location. This is the required memory address where our data is stored. So what happens is this HL pair will give some value. You reach this value in the memory, extract the data and we are going to load A, going to load A with contents of 4050. Uh, contents of 4050 contents of this memory location A is going to be loaded with contents of 4050 so we are not given the address of the data directly we have to first extract the address of the data then we reach that address and extract the data and load the register A with that data this is known as indirect addressing mode then there is one more addressing which is register register indirect addressing register indirect addressing so what is going to happen here is here we are not going to access the memory okay here the source and the destination both are going to lie in the microprocessor only there is going to be a source register and there is going to be a destination register you are going to pick up the data from one of the registers and move it to another register for example example mov b comma e mov b comma e see here this register b is the destination this is the source right so what happens is suppose suppose e was holding the value b3 and b were holding the value initially it was holding a value ce now what happens after execution of this instruction is contents of e contents of e are not going to change okay contents of e are going to be unchanged unaltered but what happens to contents of b they are going to be overwritten overwritten with contents of e copying is going to take place copying is going to take place so this is register indirect addressing see we are not accessing memory here both of these registers are lying inside the microprocessor only so copying takes place inside the microprocessor this is only going to have four t states okay because we are not accessing memory uh, then there is one more addressing mode one more last addressing mode which is implicit addressing implicit addressing See in this uh, addressing mode actually there the no register is going to be touched okay we are not going to perform any functions with the register no instruction is given it is having instructions such as STC, CMA, RRC we are going to learn about them but for now you can see what does this instruction do it is set carry. So we are having a flag register basically in which there is a carry flag. After execution of this instruction, this carry flag will become one. Just that. This is complement accumulator. Complement accumulator. So what happens is simply all the contents of the accumulator are going to be complemented after execution of this instruction. So these are the five uh, addressing modes that you need to know uh, there are another instructions also in each of these addressing modes we are going to look at them separately when we study the instruction set